to our Trader Joe's taste test. In my last video, I did a big Trader Joe's haul, and so we picked up a bunch of Christmas treats from Trader Joe's, so today we are going to taste them, and we're gonna rate them from one to five. And Alex decided that we are going to do half ratings because in our last video, he made up a rule that we were not gonna do half ratings, but then... They make sense. We need to have half ratings. Yes, so we are going to allow half ratings this time. So let's get started, guys, with the first item on the list. The first item is candy cane green tea decaffeinated. Decaffeinated, which is important because I do not like drinking caffeine. I feel like it gives me the jitters. And I am looking forward to this because it's candy cane flavored, and that is just like the flavor of the season. So let's give it a taste. Mmm, still a little hot. Be careful. It's pretty good. It's not um. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's like a minty green tea. Yeah, it's like a green tea with mint. What are you gonna rate it? Should we do? Let's just let's just hold up our fingers on the count of five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You gave it a four? Yeah, it's a good green tea. <laughs> I feel like I'm very. Frugal, I don't know if frugal is the word. I just don't want to give like high ratings. I mean, if you like but green tea. But it's really good, it's yeah. really good. If you like green tea and you like mint, like I could drink this. Okay, maybe it's not a three because I really do like it. She's getting influenced by my score. Oh. <laughs> you gave it a three, that's it. Like, there's no okay, going back. okay, it's a three, it's a three. Okay guys, we're going to put this tea down even though it's delicious and go on to our next beverage. So our next beverage is this sugar plum sparkling beverage. It says it is a plum and white grape juice beverage from Concentrates. So we already poured a glass right here. We're gonna give it a taste. Okay. It's really good. It smells good. Tastes like sparkling grape juice. It really does. But I've never had a sugar plum is a sugar plum actually like a thing or is it just like a plum that's sugared? I don't know. It tastes like sparkling grape juice. All right, let's do this. On the count of five. Okay. Rating. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. What'd you give it? A three. All right, we both agreed. <laughs> okay, so this one I feel is actually a three and I'm gonna go back on my tea and give it a four. I mean, plum and white grape juice. So it is kind of... It is a sparkling So I grape guess juice. you taste the, the grape juice more than the plum. I mean, it's not bad, I just... It's good. I'm still drinking it. Yeah, it's it's refreshing, it's light, fruity. It's very light. It's a, it's a good refreshing drink. Yeah. yeah. It's a good three. So, three. So for the next beverage, we are gonna be trying a sparkling cranberry ginger beverage. Yes, and I'm excited about this because I really liked the last ginger beverage we got. At first, I didn't, but it grew on me and I finished the whole jar on my own. Alex did not help me at all. So this has cranberry, which is one of my favorite juices. So I imagine it to be delightful. Let's give it a shot. I like it. <laughs> it's very, okay. it's, gin it's definitely a ginger beverage. You can taste the ginger, but the cranberry is also very noticeable as well. It's a great combination. So, you wanna do the countdown? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Ooh, I gave it a two. I've been closing my eyes because I don't wanna be influenced by Alex. So I gave it a four, Alex gave it a two, which tells you that you probably just don't like ginger, right? Yeah, if you like ginger, this is the drink for you, but I will not be taking another sip. I feel like it gives it a good, nice, like a good spicy, crispy flavor. Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Anyways, four, two, moving on. Okay guys, we are done with the beverage category and we're moving on to the candy category. My favorite. And first up is the Scandinavian Tidings. These are a soft and chewy gummy candy and they're holiday shaped. So let's give these a try. So are these just gummy bears? I think they're just like gummy bears, but not really. So we have a star, we have a red ornament, like the ornament. and I think there's a Christmas tree in here. Yep, a Christmas tree. I wanna try the Christmas tree. 
Mmm. Mm. It's not like a gummy bear though. It doesn't, it's very chewy. It doesn't have a gummy bear consistency. It sticks to your mouth. You have bad teeth. This candy ain't for you. Yeah. It sticks all it over sticks your mouth. Sticks to your teeth. Yeah. This is my kind of candy, guys. I love chewy, gummy candy. It's my favorite candy. So we're going to give this a rating. Alex is going to count us down. Okay, go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Four. Three. Point five. How do I do a 4.5 with my hands? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Okay, so I give it a 4.5 and Alex, you gave it a three? Yeah. Flavor, I think a flavor is a 4.5, but these are chewy. Like, I mean, mm, they're I too chewy for my I love chewy candy. So I thought it was delicious, but I'm reserving my five for something amazing. And again, keep in mind the flavor is definitely a 4.5 for, it's just the consistent, the texture for me just. It killed it for you? Yeah, it gives it a three. It brought it down? Okay, so that is our um, rating for the gummy candies. We're moving on to the next candy. For the next one, we are doing the Peppermint Pretzel Slims. Ooh, so this is not like a candy. It's more like a, I guess like a tasty Tasty treat. treat. Our thin, crunchy pretzel slims with a creamy coating and peppermint sprinkles. Mmm, yummy. All right, let's give these a shot. Okay. Ooh, they're very big. You want to share? Yeah, sure. This one. one's stuck. Here. All right. Ooh, it is heavily coated, I think, with white chocolate. I don't know. I'm about to find out. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Okay, guys. That is a very thin pretzel, and it's heavily coated with either white chocolate or yogurt. It doesn't specify. It's some kind of coating, and it's sprinkled with crushed peppermint. Very delicious combination. Are you ready to give it a rating? Cows down. Okay. We're giving it a rating in five, four, three, two, and one. What'd you give it? A five! I gave it a four. I gave it a five. I'm a little too generous, I guess. I mean, they're amazing. What I, you know what I like about them is that they're, they're super tasty and the peppermint is a very small hint of peppermint. It's not overpowering. Yeah, it was just enough to give it a good flavor. Yeah, so I think with these holiday treats, they overdo the peppermint. So overall, like, that was really good. I could actually eat that whole bag. I know you could. <laughs> That's my type of candy. Anyways, let's move on. Okay guys, next up are these mini marshmallows in a peppermint flavor. Now. I have heard people rave about the regular flavor, just like the plain marshmallows from Trader Joe's. So I've actually never tasted the plain marshmallows from Trader Joe's, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be great. I mean, if just people peppermint are, flavored. If the gram is raving about them. Yeah, the gram, guys. The gram doesn't lie. Okay, let's give it a test. Taste test. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. You know, I'm really impressed so far by Trader Joe's that. Like, I, this is way off topic. I bought some peppermint coffee and I hated it because it's so much peppermint. Where was that from? <laughs> I don't want to trash this company so I like it a lot. <laughs> so anyways. Not it, Trader Joe's. It's overpowering. So I thought all this candy was going to have overpowering peppermint. But it's a, again, a super small hint of peppermint. Yes, but it like hits you. Every time you chew, you get a burst of peppermint. Like, so every time I chewed, I was like, mmm. Mmm. You don't need a mint. You need a peppermint marshmallow. Mmm. All right, I have my rating. Okay, ready to rate it? Five, four, three, two, one, go. I give it a 4.5. This is my 4.5. I give it a four. I'm actually not doing half ratings today. I don't know why. Wow. It's a, it's a four. I give it a 4.5. Definitely delicious. I can't wait to put this in my hot cocoa. Oh yeah. That's gonna be. I'm making a cozy drink with these guys. Mm. It's gonna be a topping. Delicious. All right, for the next one, we have the dark chocolate covered minty mallows? Mallows? Mallows. Mallows. It's like the mallows and marshmallows. <laughs> English is my second language, so I apologize if I massacred This that. is true. His first language is Spanish. Did you read the description? How about you read the description while I open these okay, up? Okay, so the description says, a light and fluffy peppermint marshmallow drenched in smooth dark chocolate. It's drenched, guys. Let's see. Almost fell on me. Ooh, let's take one? a bite. You take a bite, I take a bite. Ooh, it makes a crunch. 
a crunchy marshmallow. Mm. Okay. Remember, this brings back childhood memories, and I can't remember mm. what candy did this. Same, but I don't remember either. This is bringing back all kinds of memories. But mm. what candy was it? Yeah. You know what it was? It's that Mexican candy that, it's like a clown, isn't it? Maybe. What's it called? Um, I don't know. <laughs> there's a Mexican clown candy where you're eating. <laughs> a clown candy. A clown, right? Am I right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, Sounds like something Mexico would do. <laughs> okay, guys, that was delicious. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but the coating was thin enough that you didn't taste the dark chocolate, so it was a very light chocolate and it had a nice little crunch to it when you bit into it. It's delicious. All right, I looked it up. Oh my God. It's called a paleta payaso. So translation, it is a clown lollipop. <laughs> and this is exactly what it tasted like. I don't remember eating those. You don't remember eating them? No. Oh my God, this brings back so many memories. Show them. Me... Ew, it doesn't even look like a clown. The but picture... it's the same thing. I don't know if you can see. It's a clown and a paleta. Paleta payaso. My parents used to buy these for me. You see how it's a marshmallow covered in chocolate? It is. It doesn't even look like a clown wow. in the pictures. Okay, so. Fake news. Okay, I'm ready for my rating. Okay. And this is gonna be a surprise. Okay. Okay. On the count of five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, a five. I, I gave it a five <laughs> for nostalgia. Oh. I, it's just, it automatically brought back those memories. That's sweet. I thought it was good, but some things are better. It was good. Trader Joe's, I see you copying. The paleta payasos, I see you. <laughs> okay guys, moving on. We are going to try some cookies. First up are these mini gingerbread people. They're gingerbread cookies with white fudge icing. We're eating people. We're eating people! Is this what people actually taste like? <laughs> I have a feeling this won't remind me of anything ah! in my childhood. <laughs> we should have opened these before. Okay, ready? Here's one. Ooh, yours is missing a leg. Ooh. Mine has a full body. Ooh, this is very promising. So there's like a coating on the back. Mmm, crunchy. It doesn't taste gingerbread -y. I don't know how I feel about them. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. Well, you know what? There is an aftertaste of gingerbread. Can you dunk these in milk? Mmm. I think, um... You can dunk any cookie in milk. I think if you dunk these in milk to soften them up a bit. You know what? There is a ginger spice. Oh, That's what sure. I was looking for. And it just hit me. Mmm, it's actually good. Sorry, I'm... OCD have to clean the table. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Count us down. Okay, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. 2.5. Really? Yeah. I like it. I could snack on these for a while. The aftertaste is a spicy ginger. I love spicy ginger. I love ginger snaps, and like, these have a spicy ginger flavor. It's still lingering. Yeah. Is that what you don't like, the ginger? I just don't like the flavor, but like, like usually ginger, like you taste it and that's it. Like this is the lingering spice. I like a lingering spice. But she doesn't like salsa. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. This is an herbal spice. Not for me. I liked it. Four, two, moving on. Alrighty, next up, we have the pistachio pomegranate crisps. Yes, it is a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to com complement cheese spreads, dips, and toppings. We don't have any of that, so we're just trying these. Uh, the crisp crisps on its own. Uh, we actually tried a different flavor crisp in our fall video. <laughs> I struggled too much opening these because if I open them hard, I'm gonna hit reset and you're gonna see <laughs> bass. I didn't wanna do that. Anyways, here you go. Okay. They smell good. Mmm, let's try. I love pistachio, by the way. That's a good cracker. These never disappoint. We've <laughs> tried three different flavors. This is a good cracker. You like it? They're very crunchy, so excuse the crunch. I think they taste better with a cheese spread on them. 
But they're good alone. They're good for snacking. So you want to give your rating? Uh, yep, I'm ready. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, three. What? Three, because I feel like I need a spread. That is one of the finest crackers I've ever tasted. We are so like opposite this video. It's crazy. That is a good cracker. I like it, but I give it a three. Alex loves it. So you gave it a what? Five. A five. Okay, like, guys. It's almost like a dessert cracker. It is. It's it's fruity, but it's not like too sweet. I thought it was pretty sweet. For all you cheese fans, let us know what cheese to pair these sweet crackers with. Yes, I am not a cheese connoisseur, and neither is Alex. So I'm always scared to buy a cheese and then like hate it, and then it goes to waste. So comment below your favorite cheese and tell me why, and maybe we'll do a cheese taste test. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay guys, we're moving on to our last and final cookie, which is these cookie mug hangers. They're crunchy spice cookies designed to fit on the rim of your mug. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. Let's open this box up. Let me tell you, back in my day, we didn't have this fancy stuff. They're pretty big. Let's okay, let's share, share one. one. Yes. We don't want these to go to waste. I'm also using these in my cozy drink video, so tune in. Let's split it in half. Ooh, it's split very evenly. It's gonna go. Mmm. It smells good. Mmm. Okay. So comparing like the other gingerbread people to these, it definitely has a way better crunch. It's not as hard. It still has a really good crisp to it, but it's like mm. an airy crisp, a light, fluffy crisp. I just want to dunk these in milk. Ooh, mm. these are perfect. These are, we're just hanging out. <laughs> these are good. It says what? We're the just, other one's saying? Ba -dum -tss. Oh, a joke. You get it? Ba -dum -tss. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll count, I'll count us down. Okay, Alex is counting us down for our last and final rating. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and we finally agree. <laughs> we did save the best for last. We did unknowingly. I saved it because they're the cutest, but I didn't know they were going to be the best tasting. So not only are they cute, they're actually really great tasting. So without milk. Without milk. So I can't wait. It's gonna be a 10 out of 10 when it's dunked in milk. Okay guys, that is it for our Trader Joe's taste test. I hope this inspires you to go out to your local grocery store and pick up some holiday treats yourself and get in the holiday spirit. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you on the next one. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.